वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई प्रीति सिन्हल एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट ए आई एस एस एम एस कॉलेज ऑफ होटल मैनेजमेंट एंड केटरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न माइक्रोब्स इन इंडस्ट्रियल फूड प्रोसेसिंग इन माई अर्लियर वीडियोज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउस होल्ड फूड प्रोसेसिंग सो टूडे वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम देयर टू इंडस्ट्रियल फूड प्रोसेसिंग in this video we are going to learn about the fermentation of beer and wine how the microbes play a role into it microbial involvement in industrial cooking microorganisms are like tiny chefs in industrial cooking processes working behind the scenes to create delicious and complex flavors introducing the specific focus of the presentation on yeast in beer and wine making think of microorganism as the unsung heroes of industrial cooking they are the secret ingredients that transform raw materials into mouth watering culinary delights especially in fermentation processes yeast in beer making in beer making yeast fermentation is a critical step in the production of alcoholic beverages imagine yeast as a bustling worker in a brewery tirelessly converting sugars from barley into alcohol and carbon dioxide Without yeast our beloved beer wouldn't have its signature bubbly texture and intoxicating kick Saccharomyces cerevisiae commonly known as brewer's yeast is the primary yeast species used in beer fermentation Brewer's yeast converts sugar from malted barley into alcohol and carbon dioxide leading to the fermentation of beer now let's learn about the step by steps or some steps in beer making so brewing beer is like following a time honored family recipe we start with malting where barley grains are soaked and sprouted to release their natural sugars then comes mashing then comes the boiling fermentation and finally the bottling it's a labor of love that yields the perfect pint you must be wondering students right that how the brewery brewery happens of the beer During fermentation yeast works its magic turning sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide It's like watching a tiny alchemist at work transforming humble ingredients into golden elixir and brings joy to beer lovers around the world Now let's understand that how the yeast works in wine making or what is the role of yeast in wine making Now we have prepared the beer a nice bubbling beer beer let's go to wine In the world of wine making yeast is a silent protagonist quietly fermenting grape juice into liquid gold with each bubble of carbon dioxide yeast adds its own unique touch to the flavor profile of the wine creating a symphony of taste and aroma yeast fermentation is also essential in the production of wine where it converts sugars from grape into alcohol and carbon dioxide various yeast strains including saccharomyces cerevisiae 
and other wild yeast species may be used in wine fermentation. Now let's learn the role of yeast in beer fermentation. During fermentation, brewer's yeast metabolizes sugars in the wort, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Then alcohol contributes to the alcoholic content of the beer, while carbon dioxide creates bubbles, carbonating the beer and import imparting effervescence. So now you understand students that the beer which is liked and which is like uh, everyone's favorite how it's been created and how the yeast is the contributing in at the different different stages. Now let's understand the wine making where the role of yeast how it plays. In the world of wine making yeast is the silent protagonist quietly fermenting grape juice into liquid gold with each bubble of carbon dioxide yeast adds its own unique touch to the flavor profile of the wine creating a symphony of taste and aroma yeast fermentation is also essential in the production of wine where it converts sugars from grapes from into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Various yeast strains including Saccharomyces cerevisia and other wild yeast species may be used in wine fermentation. Now let's understand the steps in wine making. So wine making is like a romantic journey. It begins with the harvest of ripe grapes from sun-kissed vineyards. As the grapes are crushed to release juice, skins and seeds. In the fermented process or fermentation process, the grape juice or must is transferred to fermentation vessels where Yeast is added to initiate fermentation. Yeast works its magic, turning that sweet juice of grapes into velvety wine that tells the story of its origin with every sip. Then comes the part aging. The fermented wine may undergo aging in barrels or tanks to develop complexity and flavor. Then the comes the part is bottling. The aged wine are bottled and may undergo further aging in the bottles before consuming. Now let's understand rule of yeast in wine fermentation. The earlier slide, I have told you the process or the steps of wine making. So during wine fermentation, yeast becomes the master architect, shaping the flavor and aroma of the wine with its delicate touch. Each yeast strains brings its own personality to the wine, resulting in a diverse range of styles and expressions. During wine fermentation, yeast metabolizes sugars in the grape must, converting them into the alcohol and carbon dioxide. Alcohol content and carbonation levels at vary depending on the desired style of wine and fermentation conditions. The impact of yeast on beer and wine characteristics. Let's understand that. So the choice of yeast strain and fermentation conditions can significantly influence the characteristics of beer and wine. Different yeast strains produce varying level of alcohol, carbonation and flavor compounds 
leading to diverse beer and wine styles now let's uh, let's think about that what factors which influence yeast performance so let's go one by one towards it if i say that several factors affect yeast performance and fermentation outcome and that includes first is temperature so yeast fermentation is very sensitive to the temperature with optimal ranges of specific yeast strains then the second point comes which is nutrients yeast requires essential nutrients such as nitrogen and vitamins for healthy fermentations then the next point which is your ph which is again play a very important role into yeast performance so yeast fermentation is influenced by the acidity or ph of the fermentation environment so these are some of the or few of the factors which influence yeast activity now i will explain the industrial application of the yeast beyond the beer and the wine making yeast has diverse industrial application which includes bread making yeast is used as a leavening agent in bread fermentation contributing to dough rising and texture development then biofuel production yeast fermentation is utilized in the production of biofuels such as ethanol from renewable feed stocks like sugar canes and corn now there are challenges also in the industrial yeast fermentations some of the few cha few few challenges which faced by the industry such as contamination so the risk of microbial con contamination can affect fermentation outcomes and product quality fermentation efficiency so maximum yeast fermentation efficiency requires optimization of fermentation condition and processes parameters so these are few of the challenges which we are talking about here now there are research and innovation is done in the yeast fermentation ongoing research and innovation aim to address challenges and improve yeast fermentation processes in various industries advances in genetic engineering and biotechnology enables the development of novel yeast strains and improved fermentation characteristics after understanding research and innovation in ferment and yeast fermentation let's understand the sustain sustainability in yeast fermentation we all know that sustainability is a major concern by the global as we know that the global warming is increasing so it is very understandable that sustainability is a growing focus in every sector with efforts to optimize resource use reduce waste and minimize environmental impact innovations in yeast fermentation technology aim to enhance efficiency and sustainability in industrial processes so keeping in mind that the least environmental impact happens during the processes so during this all the industries also keeping in mind that how the sustainability can be maintained at the end of the session we will conclude the video by understanding all the steps once more i'll revise it once more what we have done in this video so first we have understand the role of yeast in beer making during fermentations brewers yeast which metabolizes sugars in the wort 
it produces alcohol and carbon dioxide as a byproduct this alcohol which contributes to the alcoholic content of the beer while carbon dioxide creates bubbles which is carbonating the beer and imparting effervescence after understanding the role of yeast in beer we have learnt the role of yeast in wine making so during wine fermentation yeast becomes the very important element it shapes the flavor and aroma of the wine with its delicate touch as we have learned that during wine fermentation yeast metabolizes sugars in the grape must and it converts them into alcohol and carbon dioxide alcohol content and carbonation levels it varies depending on the desired style of wine and the fermentation conditions we have also learned the factor influencing yeast performances in that i have explained to you the some of the factors like temperature nutrients and the ph and how they impact the fermentation processes and the outcome differs on the basis of these three important elements after that we have understood that what are the industrial applications of the yeast in that we have learned that at the industrial level the application which includes bread making and biofuel production in my earlier video i have explained in a length about the bread making so under biofuel production we have learned that yeast fermentation is utilized in the production of biofuels such as ethanol from renewable feed stocks like sugarcane and corn and at the industrial level they have turned in, into biofuels so these are the some of the uh, learning lessons which we have learned in this we have learned about the challenges also under that we have learned contamination and fermentation efficiency after that we have learned that our research and innovation has been included and sustainability was a major or is a major concern as the global warming is increasing by understanding the role of yeast in all these some of the sectors it is essential for producing the high quality beer and wine as well as for exploring innovative application in various industries thank you so